Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have all of my non-wax empties for December 2017. Before I go any further, I have nothing on my nails, but I do have my newest lipstick from MAC. It's in Twig in the Satin Formula. That is what is on my lips. I think, Nikki, you were the one who said that you had this as one of your favorites. I Forgive me if I'm wrong, but um, I'm really enjoying this one. So, with that said, let's dive into some non-wax empties. Um, Things that you're gonna see almost every video, every month. I do go through a lot of this. I do clean a lot. Green works, and it's the all-purpose cleaner. And I just started seeing in my grocery store that they're finally, like I've been waiting for them to do refills where I don't have to buy this whole bottle again. I just top it up. Finally, it's, I, I already have two on, because before I saw that, I, I've got I purchased two more, because I always like buy two for whatever price it is. Um, but I plan on when I'm low again, I'm going to get the refill so I don't have to keep buying the bottle. So anyway, I do enjoy this. You guys will see this in so many of my empties. And again, I love my Unstoppables, Downy Unstoppables in wash scent booster in the scent Lush. I love these. I know the lid's on, but you can still smell it. Mm, so good. I love throwing that, especially athletic gear. I have a separate scent for my towels and my bed sheets too. Um, they used to have that, that pearlescent colored one. I want to say it was called Glow. It was my favorite one just to do my towels and my bed sheets. And they just continue, at least up here in Canada, I can't find it. But this is good. I also, I like pretty much all of them, but this is a staple. I always have the purple lidded one um, at home. Something, and then both of those obviously are repurchased, have been, will be, all that fun stuff. Next thing up, I tried, I, I decided to try a new shampoo and conditioner. It's the L'Oreal Extraordinary Clay in the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, anyway, it's supposed to be, oh, they're both got the same writing. Okay, lightweight roots, hydrated length, exquisite radiance. Now, this is unique for me as it does state oily roots and dry ends, which is exactly what I am. I've got oily scalp, and because I um, uh, biolage my hair or ombre my hair, it's lighter at the bottom, bleached out, so it's dry ends. I actually really enjoy this. I would 100% repurchase that. In fact, I'm going to Walmart today. Um, if I, I have lots of shampoo and conditioner, but if I'm there, if they're on sale, I might pick up another set. I really like this. I would recommend that if you guys have similar hair type to me, oily scalp, dry ends. Did I say roots earlier? What I meant to say is oily scalp, dry ends. This is actually really good. I liked it. Something I'm so sad to see go, and I've been like, I always get this product um, on a discount at my local Winners, which is like in Canada, it's Winners or Home Sense in the States, is uh, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, that kind of thing. Discount stores, <sighs> I'm out of this, and they haven't replenished it in my store. And I've been to Winners like three times, and I, one of the first places I look is right there on that shelf where it should be, and it's not. So I'm out of a deep hair, um, deep repair mask for my hair at the moment, but this is a macadamia no, uh, natural oil deep repair mask, and it's like that. And this normally retails in Canada the size for $32. This is the eight fluid ounces, but you can like I got mine for $24.99 or $25 um, at the discount store. I know it's only a few bucks, but if I can save a few bucks. And if the shipping wasn't so friggin' expensive on Holt Look, I know that Holt Look, you can find some of these and some of them ginormous bottles or tubs, and that's really good, but the shipping is pretty expensive. Um, I've never ordered anything from Holt Look, but I have watched other beauty vloggers who do all the time, and they do mention that it's kind of expensive, so that's why I have not done that. Um, okay, so something I'll tell you. So as you guys, most of you know, I did the Super Tarts advent calendar this year. And in the calendar, it, we received a scent sachet in Frosty, which is a beautiful like peppermint, vanilla bean, Noel type scent, and it's nice and bright and lively and fresh. So I put this in my car for like four days, and I didn't get anything from my car other than the day I put it in there. And I think, I don't know what it is, maybe it's the elements outside. You know, I can't remember what the temperature, it hasn't been super cold yet since I've had this. Um, but what I did is I moved it from my car because I really wasn't getting anything like you should like if you leave your car and then come back at the end of a work day you should smell that one would think I couldn't smell it but what I did is I have a drawer in my in my um, dresser 
strictly for firefighting call out clothes. Like I don't have a lot of ratty beat up clothes just because you know, just I don't. So anything that's old or I'm not really into, I put into this one drawer. So if my pager goes off at two in the morning, the drawer, I've got the socks, I got everything laid out that I just put it on and then I head out the door. Um, so what I just did is I decided to put it in there and it does really well and I can smell it on my clothes like at the hall and everything So it does really well in a confined space, but less so I feel in my car and it could be because of the elements The bigger space. I'm not sure but it did work or it does work as it's still there in my drawer I was able to get this from a Vox box from Influencer. It was Viva La Juicy it did make my favorites. I received three of these little vials and I love the fact that these are like little spritzer vials. They're not like the pop it off and the it, you could spill it. Um, I appreciate that. So this was surprisingly amazing. It did make my favorites video as you guys know. I was really surprised because when I, I never smelt it, I just saw the commercials, especially before Christmas. That's when a lot of fragrance ads do come out. I was like, it just looks so young. And I mean, I'm young at heart, but it just looked really young. And to me, it sort of, for whatever reason, it emanated like really sweet candy smells. And I'm like, I'm really not into that because I mean, I've had that before, but I was really young. No, this is one of those scents, like I've said before, you can go from daytime to nighttime and I really enjoy it. And I will buy a bottle of this down the road from Sephora. Yes, love it. Um, okay, so an one of the items from this line that I went through this month was the Sugar Scrub in the Birch and Argon. You guys know it, or you guys know that it made my favorites back in November. I really enjoy this scent. I have everything from it um, except for the body, for the body oil. Don't have that, but I have the lotions, the scrubs, the body creams, the shower gels, the roller ball, the hand lotion. And I'm actually, I th probably the hand lotion is going to make it in my next month's empties because I'm, I'm getting really low on that. I really like this line and I think it's actually good for guys and girls. I think they're, it's a nice unisex and I think their packaging depicts that as well. So they did good on their marketing that way too. All right, so some makeup. Well, first of all, toothpaste. Crest 3D White Luxe in Glamorous White. You guys will always see a, an empty toothpaste in my empties every month because I go through a lot. Um, the only difference I find with this particular one, like I always use the Crest 3D White, but this is the Lux, and <clears throat> it's a little bit bigger of a tube than I normally get. Like normally it's a little shorter squatter of a tube. And the one thing I do, I will say about this particular type um, is that I have to store it like this. Like I'll still roll it up, but I have to store it up, up like this because it's so runny that I notice if I, if I kept it stored down like this and I'm going to pop it open, it literally, it oh, drives me bonkers. Like it sort of sticks along the top and it's just, it makes a mess. So I, f I feel with this Lux version that I have to store it up like this. And it's just a learning curve that I found and I just, because I don't like, like messiness and I've got, I can feel it on my fingers right now. But anyway, a couple staples you guys see in every one of my empties we've got makeup eraser sticks and makeup wipes, Neutrogena and Almay. So I uh, love these, these are staples. They're 100% repurchases. A lot of these empties right now are 100% repurchases. So that's kind of cool. So anyway, um, you see those all the time. All right, sad to say that I went through my entire Buxom's White Russian, but my friend Tanya, she and I went together, um, I guess like, uh, what was it? They were having a sale at Ulta, and Ulta is just starting to creep up in Canada, I think online. But we don't have, I don't have a store like that near me, but they had like this thing where it was like 21 days at Christmas, and I don't know, it was a while ago, or anyway, they had a sale, it was 50% off the full size. So I, I asked if she could pick me up a white Russian, I paid, paid her for it and that, and she went and she picked it up. And this is in white Russian, um, staple, it's completely empty. I have pretty much, it's like super dry. There is not a whole lot in there at all. Actually, there's nothing. I have repurchased it clearly, and as I just stated, so there's that. Something I'm not gonna repurchase, it was part, it was in, oops, in that Sephora, give me some lip kit. Sorry, give me some lip kit. I just didn't like this. This is the, and I know it gets such major reviews, and it's not to say I don't like it because it, it does work. It does soften my lips, but it was annoying. <laughs> 
It's the Fresh Sugar in Rose. And it was in that kit. Like, it wasn't even summertime and it did this. And, I, and it's falling apart and it's just a mess. And I really don't want to keep things that are a mess. And that's why I tend to go for the products that aren't colored too. I don't know. It's just, it was a mess. I took it out of my purse because I'd had enough. <laughs> All right, so two items which I have repurchased, will repurchase, love them both, is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I know it made it into so many of the big beauty blogger, vloggers, videos for their top makeup products. It is hands it's actually what I'm wearing my eyelashes right now. I do like it. I do agree with what they say. It is drugstore. It's L'Oreal, so it's a little more expensive than some, like Maybelline and, and things like that. I do find that normally I will I will be done with my mascaras after three months, but I do find that that Lash Paradise after about a month and a half to two months, it gets really dry and it starts falling underneath my eyes at that point and it's harder to get those nice separated lashes that I used to get when it was fresh. So I do go through a little bit faster with those. Speaking of Maybelline, uh, the Rocket Volume Express, and this is the waterproof. I always keep one waterproof mascara with or in my collection or stash at all times. Tuesday nights is my practice night at the fire hall. So when I go to work all day, I'll put this on. And then when I come home, it's, you know, I'll take off all my makeup and just leave this. Because I find if I don't wear, if I wear regular mascara and still take off all my makeup and then you're in the mask and you're sweaty and gross, it'll still come down off of my eyes. So that's why I stick with waterproof, at least on Tuesdays. And if you're, you know, whatever, sometimes you just need a waterproof. Um, I went through a bunch of masks. Uh, face masks and eye masks. So this is a, an eye patch. So these, you can sort of see the shapes there. They were pink, but they were, these were eye patches that were awesome. Loved them very much. Thought they were very cool. Then I went through these two. These were gifted to me. So this one is an egg strata firming mask, collagen and egg yolk, and egg strata pore minimizing mask in vinegar and egg white. I just love these face masks of her having a nice bath and I did receive that as a gift so thank you uh, I love them they're beautiful and the eye patches like I probably could have put some on today we had to call out and didn't get home until the wee hours in the morning this morning and Willow wanted out at six o'clock this morning so that left me with just a couple hours sleep and uh, it's hard for me to go back to sleep uh, no I don't have a cat door I'm not gonna get a cat door I fear that she'll bring in vermin uh, yeah, because that's just what she does. She leaves them for me at the door with missing parts, just the ends and the middle's gone. That's my cat. And speaking of what, she's sleeping on my bed. She, you'll see her more out here in the summertime. In the wintertime, she does kind of hibernate into my bedroom. I don't know why, but that's just how she is. I received this last year, like 2016 at Christmas time, from Myra and Kyla. It is like a scent portable or a scent um, for your car. It is pumpkin patch. That's what it is. I was trying to figure out what the name of it was. Anyway, this was really good and really strong and it lasted a long time. So if you, I can't, the Kringle doesn't ship to Canada. So um, <clears throat> with that said, okay, lecture myself. I caught this one just slightly too late, but you guys always know, or if you're new to my channel, with wallflower bulbs, I like to take them out with a little bit of liquid in them. Because if you get like this, it's like, well, what are they, what is it actually trying to extract? It, it's got to still try to extract something, so I feel it's a fire hazard to let this one go all the way. And I, these ones were in at the same time, and it was like I blinked and boom, but you can see it wasn't totally dried out, but that was close because I took it out as soon as I, that happened. And uh, of course, that, that one there. And this is hot cocoa and cream, uh, decadent milk, chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. I love hot cocoa and cream, I think. Bath & Byer, this is one of their best scents that they brought out um, <clears throat> in 2016, actually. So I really enjoy that one. Now, I got went through a pocket back in Rio, Rio Samba, Samba Sunset. I just like to keep these in my car, that kind of thing, so I just do that. And took this one to work. Um, these ones I go through so fast, 30 milliliters, but I was gifted this as well. There's like a little hair flowing around spiced apple hand cream from the body shop so this was gifted to me as well and i really like this one what i wish though is hand creams 
I wish that they wouldn't be se the lids wouldn't be separate. I like the fact that Bath and Body Works, well, they're changing. Bath and Body Works is doing a lot of these um, where the lids detach, but they used to just be a flip a flip top lid, which was good because I can just do it with one hand. But now I got to do hold and just the small little things for me. I don't know if it's a marketing thing that they hope that we lose the lid and then we have to feel we have to buy more. I don't know. Last but certainly not least, I have three hand soaps. Now, I was sick through a good chunk of December. I had company for just about a week. My parents were in town. So between that, those, those things, I normally I'll go through almost two, if not two, hand soaps. I did go through three because, of, I, like I said, I was sick. I was home a lot, and, um, and then I had company. So first hand soap I went through was a white peppercorn or white pumpkin peppercorn made with pumpkin butter. I didn't find this made my hands any softer or more, oops, sorry, or more nourished, but um, it was nice. I really like the scent of this. You'll see some oldies here, oldies but goodies. Salted caramel, this is an oldie but goodie, but I love this one. I, there's a bunch in this line that when they were, they were at SAS like a year ago and I stocked up on them and I still have a few more that look, you know, different scent, but have the same packaging from the same collection that I really did think that they hit it with hit the nail on the head with the scents. This one's rich and creamy. Um, it was It is a salted caramel, so yeah, it's really good. I don't think I have any more of this one. And Frosted Cranberry, just like the candle, I absolutely love the hand soap. This is Frosted Cranberry sprinkled with iced peach. I don't really necessarily get the peach, but I definitely get the cranberry. cranberry Frosted Cranberry is one of my favorites. I love the tartness in the soap, in the wax, all of that stuff. So you guys, as always, thank you so much for joining me. I'm in front of the camera. I am, I actually have a weekend where I can sit down and hopefully film a few videos. Things stay quiet and I just jinx myself, um, i.e. pager. Um, anyway, I will, I will always be in front of the camera if I can. If it's dark when I get up to go to work in the morning and it's dark when I come home and I have no other than natural light. These pot lights below actually are really, really bad. Um, they, it's just not good. So it's easier for me to film at my table, um, which you've seen a lot of lately. But again, if I have the time, I'll make the videos, especially and I'll be in front of the camera, not a problem. So um, don't fret. I know a lot of people are like, we miss you in front of the camera. Don't worry. It's just because I can't. Um, that's a big thing. I just, I just can't. I uh, don't have the light. I don't have big productions. I am a twenty dollar, uh, twenty dollar tripod, and my my iPhone, and I'm sitting on two pillows on my living room floor. That's the kind of production that I have going on here. Um, so anyway, um, also I keep forgetting to mention this. I'll try to mention it in a few of my videos. I do have Snapchat. I'm learning about Snapchat. I'm not very proficient in it. I, um, I'm more into the Instagram. That, that's just because it's my comfort zone. So I, I do have Snapchat. I hope to do more snaps and things like that. Um, but of course I have Instagram. Everything's down below in the description bar with what my, my name for Snapchat, Instagram, all that stuff is. So you guys, um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let you go now. This is almost 20 minutes. All right, you guys, as always, be safe, take care, and have fun.